back to the basics Been a lot of things, but I've never been basic Run around bases, came from the basement Never been shameless So I got stay in the streets, get dangerous So I might bang it Don't like hanging, let's see family Please don't claim it Like what you claiming, what you saying What you bout and what you need I'm at the house, ain't at the club I'm really chilling with my seed I love my poppy, put me on I'm really chilling with OGs Don't test my games to think I'm May we gon' we gon' Tryna be here for a while in a good time But we ain't stressed out, just good wine When I look in the mirror, y'all look fine Good people, times and good wine Good wine, good wine On. Let's go. My name is Ivar and this is a full review of the new Orbit Key 2-in-1 tech pouch. I'm going to go through everything that I have in this pouch and just give this pouch an overall review in compared to my old Supreme pouch that I used to use. So as you can see here, they're definitely similar in size. So this is my old one. This is the new Orbit Key pouch. But once we flip them back up, there's definitely a size difference with both of them. The Orbit Key 2-in-1 pouch is of course a bit bigger. It's twice the size, I would say. Uh, if we put them on top of each other or the supreme pouch on top the supreme pouch was really really good of course if we move the orbit key away for a second and just open up the supreme one as you can see there's just one big compartment it does have a zipper inside so you can put you can store other things in there i for example had some of my cables in there that i didn't use often it also has some not sure if it's pen loops or cable loops uh because they just call it the supreme pouch uh, it's nothing specific but it worked well i had some cables in here it was pretty stacked when i had everything inside here but this video is all about the two-in-one tech pouch from orbit key so let's get right into it let's open up the orbit key two-in-one tech pouch they have these zippers here with a little pull tab as you can see it has one overall and they have also one on the outside just to get this part over with it's a little pocket with a very soft lining inside uh, to put your phone of course and it has a little hole there so if you have a power bank inside you don't have to take out the power bank you can just thread the cable through and charge your phone either inside or outside just with the cable out of the pouch now opening up the whole tech pouch as you can see it stores a lot of things i do have a lot of cables and gadgets inside here i've been using this pouch now for a full week and a half ish as a guy it's been one of the best things that I've ever purchased to be honest. It fits everything I need and more. Before we get into the different compartments in the pouch, let me take out one of the parts of this. This is why it's called the two-in-one tech pouch. It comes with this desk pouch as Orbit Key calls it. It can stand on a desk as you saw in the intro. So if we move this for a second, but we're gonna go through this in a second, but it can stand. It does struggle a little bit because I have the power bank here, but We'll get into that a bit later in the video. But back to the main compartment, the big part of the pouch. I'm just going to go through everything that is inside the compartments and how I've organized it, of course. Let's start off with the biggest piece here. It's the Razer 130 watt charger. It's been coming in pretty handy when I'm traveling, definitely. It has two USB-C, two USB-A ports. It charges really, really fast. It might be one of the best chargers I've used. That's why it's in my pouch at the moment. I do have other chargers from, for example, Google. I have two extra single USB-C chargers, but this comes more in handy when I'm traveling since I can charge four devices at the same time. This can also technically charge a MacBook. I think it's a MacBook Air. When it was released, it was advertised to charge a Razer Blade Stealth. So that's a smaller razor blade laptop unfortunately it can't charge mine since mine is a big one second up is my trusty duster slash screen cleaner so it's two parts one is the brush and the other part is this hard fabric that just swipes off all the dust that is on the screen and this i can use for the keyboard this comes in pretty handy when I'm on the go or if I'm eating close to the laptop or anything and I can just brush it off or if there's any dust on the laptop in general. That is the two big compartments as you can see here. The other big compartment here does fit a full size headset. I don't really carry with me the headset. So the only thing I put in is the Orbit Key tech pouch. It fits right perfectly in there. So it's mostly just empty space when I take out the desk pouch. But on this side, I do have my whoosh screen cleaner cloth. I just have it there on the side. I do have an ethernet cable. You never know when you need an ethernet cable when you're on the go just so you can get the full speed of internet for example at a hotel or at the airport and then i have a little corner here where i have different type of things it's just some strips in case i need to tie up some cables or for example if someone needs a usb-c to headphone adapter yeah so that's just the miscellaneous corner in the middle you have two areas here you can fill this up more but right now i only have a usb-c to lightning cable and a usb-c to usb-a cable these are just because the power bank uses usb 
USB-A and has a USB-C port, but so in case my girlfriend has to charge, I have a charger for her and a charger for me. As you can see here, I also have this thick racer cable. This came with the 130 watt charger. I use this mostly when I'm traveling or need to charge my phone since it's USB-C to USB-C and also is way longer than the other cable. So I can, for example, lay in my bed when I'm charging if I'm at a hotel or something. It also does have two pen loops here on the side. I have a Muji pen here that I bought now recently, but it's not the same one as the one I bought in my other video that I have on my YouTube channel if you want to check it out. It's nothing special, but it's another Muji pen that I put now in the desk pouch instead. So that's that for the whole big piece of the tech pouch. And we will move over now to the desk pouch. So as I mentioned, I do have a power bank inside the tech pouch. So that's why it's not standing straight. It has a USB-C and a USB-A port. It's a 10 milliamp power battery. It can charge my phone two, three times, depending on the amount of charge I have left. So it comes in pretty handy. I do want to buy a anchor charger instead because they're a bit smaller since this one is too big to fit in the big part of the tech pouch. So after taking out the power bank, you can see now that it does stand by itself. It is struggling a little bit since I don't have a lot of things in here. In here, I have a Muji pen as well as my USB-C pixel headset and a USB-A to micro USB cable. This is mostly for my camera to port over the footage that I'm recording this with to my laptop. It also has some other pockets in the back here. I'm usually storing, for example, an SD card here. In the front here, it also has a two other pockets where I would store, for example, my hard drive. This pouch also closes up. It has a zipper and can be closed up and carried by itself, of course. You don't have to put this together with the other part of the tech pouch. It can also be just individual. So if you want to have this, for example, in your backpack and you can have the other one at home or in another bag, for example. So bringing back the big pouch, it definitely can be put in close and just put in like this and it still looks nice. It doesn't look like a whole mess with a bunch of cables like I had it, but I do like to have it open just so it's easier access for other things. For example, when I have my hard drive or SD card in the back of this one. So I will put back everything to, so you guys can see how it looks with everything inside again. I am looking to buy more hard drives, so this will come in pretty handy when I do, since I do have a few compartments here that I can use. As I mentioned earlier in the video, this might be the best purchase I've ever done. It has come in pretty handy. It's big, but it's not too big. As I mentioned, it's just two sizes bigger than my previous Supreme pouch and stores way more and it's still compact enough. It also, when I close it up here, it does have some pull tabs on the side, on the top and on the other side. So if you want to hang a charm or a key or an air tag or anything, you can of course do that or of course put it inside. I would rate this product definitely 10 out of 10. This is one of my favorite orbit key products since I also have their orbit key key organizer this is definitely my second favorite after this now has released if you have any questions about the pouch it just died <laughs> when filming the outro if you guys have any questions about anything I have in the pouch or any questions about the pouch itself let me know down in the comments don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you know when I'm posting next and of course if you have any suggestion to what type of video you want to see from me let me know down below as well and I'll see you guys on the next one peace